Welcome to my journal, also to my first video. I've been journaling for almost four years now, and the way I journal has evolved a lot over time. The main thing that's been consistent is I use it to collect a lot of printed ephemera and memories like tickets, random drawings, notes, uh, cards from people, business cards, or just random pieces of design I see out in the wild. In the past, I've used my journal as a diary, keeping notes of what I do every day. But this year, I want to start using my journal as a goal-setting planner and a space for mental reflection and meditation. This video is about the 2020 monthly challenges that I'm giving myself. Every month, I'm going to do a challenge, things I've always wanted to try but never had the self-discipline to do consistently. The hope is that it'll be easier to keep the habit with the end in sight at the end of the month. And by making videos about them, I'll have the external accountability to keep me on track. For January, I'm going to try being vegetarian. I've wanted to be vegetarian for a while now, mostly for environmental reasons, but also for health and general well-being. For a later month, I'm going to be vegan, but I wanted to build up to it by starting vegetarian first. I heard veganism is the most effective way that an individual can reduce their carbon footprint. So, yeah, I want to not have the earth burn while I'm alive. February. I'm going to meditate every day for at least 30 minutes. I started, well, I tried meditating last year after hearing about how great it is and um, how it can help every aspect of your life, mental, physical, your productivity, just everything and I've never been able to make it a habit or do it consistently. I want to see what 30 days of daily meditation will do for me. March. I'm quitting sugar. This challenge will be really hard. I'm definitely addicted to sugar, even though I know it's really, really bad for me. I'm doing this in March because it'll be early enough in the year to have that new year momentum, but I'll also have some practice with self-discipline from my previous two challenges. April exercise every day for at least 30 minutes. The hardest thing for me will be finding the time, but I'm really excited to see what this will do for me and just how I'll feel. May. This is my vegan month. I can already tell this will be really difficult because I love dairy and eggs. It's in a lot of things I eat and I have to be extra careful about taking in enough protein. Maybe by now you've noticed that I've spaced out my dietary challenges to every other month. The goal is to have direct comparisons to my regular diet to see what dietary restriction makes me feel the best sort of like a less rigorous, less scientific version of the elimination diet, but the goal is the same, to get to know my body better. June, daily iniki. Iniki is a Japanese word for illustrated diary. I used to draw a lot as a kid, but I've come to draw less and less as I grow older. The goal for this month is to draw something from my day that I want to remember every single day. 
it'll be a new way of journaling and memory recording that I've never tried before. In July, I'm going to try the keto diet. I still have to look up exactly what this means, but it's a low carb, high fat diet. This might actually be the most difficult for me, but I'm excited to see if it'll increase my energy levels. August, I'm going to quit consumerism. Just kidding. But I'm going to stop buying anything material. If it's an absolute necessity like toilet paper, then I'll just have to buy it. But I'm definitely going to boycott Amazon for this month. Shipping, packaging, plastics, they're all horrible for the environment. This is my minimalist way of joining the minimalist movement and hopefully reducing my carbon footprint. September, intermittent fasting. There's a lot of ways of doing this, but I'm gonna do the one where you only eat within the same eight hours every day. So you can only eat between 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. or 1 p.m. to 9 p.m. It's supposed to be really healthy for you. It helps your metabolism know exactly when you're going to eat so it gets into a regular cycle of activity and inactivity. For October, I'm going to do October again. Last year was the first time I've ever done it and it was a lot of fun. It's where you draw every day for the month of October and I notice it just makes me feel a lot happier and more creative in my day to day. I definitely want to make it an annual thing. November. November will be my gluten free slash paleo month. From what I understand, paleo is when you try to eat like a hunter gatherer. So no processed foods, a lot of whole foods. And honestly, it sounds a lot like keto, but I'm interested to compare the two. December, I'm going to try climbing every day. I started climbing two years ago, and I was really intense about it in the beginning. I climbed at least three times a week consistently and I improved really quickly. But then after a while, the consistency went away and so did the improvement. I want to see how much I'll improve if I climb every day for a month. Of course, I'm going to reflect at the end of the year to see which habit improved my overall life the most. Which habits do I want to carry over to the next year and maybe the rest of my life? Thank you so much for sticking around till the end of the video. Expect more experiments soon. Bye!